I want to say this, man. You know, um, me and Pretty Ricky, and I'm making it relevant. Me and Pretty Pretty Ricky and I, you know, we've been friends for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot, a lot of a long amount of years. You know, um, I know probably at least about. About I say about 15 years. It might be a little bit more than that. You know, and I've I've you know been through it, through it with them with the ups and downs. You know. I, been in a situation where I needed somewhere to stay and I came and I lived with him. He was in a situation where he needed somewhere to stay and he came and lived with me. You know what I'm saying? We've gone through the emotions, you know what I'm saying? And as far as dealing with women, it's especially pretty Ricky, you know? And I know he's gonna look at this and I know he's not gonna have a problem with me saying this because he says it all the time and I, I, I truly believe that he doesn't just say it. It's not exclusively told to me. He probably tells everybody else, hey, he's stupid when it comes to women. You know, so I've I've been through it with I this man, pretty Ricky, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get him on his camera. This man got stories for days. I mean, he's in front of the abortion clinic doing a running man. His, his baby mama is fighting the side chick. It's just some of everything that this man has he's gotten involved in. You know, but um as of recently, he was in a situation and um this chick, I, I'll let him tell you, you know, his story of it, but I'm just gonna give you a, a look. I'm making it relevant, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of it. I, and I don't think he would mind. So he was, you know, seeing this broad, you know, for a couple of years or whatever, and she just didn't turn out the way that he thought she was gonna be, right? So with, within that, that seven years that they were, you know, seeing each other, I mean, he's, he's, he was almost about to marry this broad. Within seven years of seeing, seeing her, like, she really had a disdain for me. And it's crazy because we've never met one another. I've never seen her. But, you know, Pretty Ricky would tell her all the time, like, yo, in order for it to be official, you're gonna have to meet my, bro my brother. In which he was referring to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, make the long story short, they moved down here, but within, prior to them moving down here, it was a day that, you know, excuse me, they, they came down here for a couple of days. Now, he, I was telling him, yo, listen, let me know when y'all coming down and I'll show you all around the, you know, the, uh, the city to see where y'all wanna move, you know, where y'all wanna live in, right? So, at that point in time, he would just text me. You know, it was text, 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 and was no call, you know, no physical um, conversation. So, there was a miscommunication then. Make a long story short, we stopped fucking with each other. And I really do believe it had a lot to do with her. So, I'm making my point. Do not ever mess up your friendship, especially a friendship that me and him ha have. You know what I'm saying? Over abroad. Because that broad, believe it or not, she's gonna walk away and see other, other men. She's gonna give other men blowjobs. She's gonna get hit from the back, regardless of whether you like it or not. You can't control that female, but you definitely can, can control your friendship that you have with someone, especially if you've been through the, the, the trenches with that person. And I'm telling you, had it not been a, a moment, and like I said before, I'll let Pretty Ricky explain to you all uh, the, the whole spill if he decides that he wants to talk about it, right? But had it not been for a, a, a pivoted moment and, you know, him reaching out and extending the olive branch to me, we would have never been friends ever again. 15 years down the drain. Now I ain't gonna lie, when he extended his olive oil, olive oil, olive branch to me, you know, he was, you know, teaching me and telling me about 2A, you know, the constitutional right to protect and defend your castle. You know what I'm saying? You have a right to have a gun. You know, here in the state of North Carolina, you have to, in order to, 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 to purchase a handgun, you have to have a permit. Other than that, if you have, if you wanted a rifle such as an AR-15 or a shotgun or something like that, or GSG-16, you can just order it online and, and have it sent to a, a what is it? I keep on forgetting, man, but in other words, a person that, that can legally um, hold that gun for you and fill out the proper paperwork, I think it's FFL, I, sorry, I apologize, but anyway, 
a person that can that, that that has the legal right to to hold that gun for you so when you you can come and get it and pick it up and that can uh fill out the proper paperwork to send to the fbi right so he's teaching me about that so you know i went and bought my my first gun which was the gsg 16 right and i never forget it so he was like yo you know um listen i'm going to the gun range and you know would you want to come with me I'm, I was like, yeah. So I told the mother of my children, I'm like, yo, I don't know if a Pretty Ricky <laughs> set me up or not. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of like synonymous to this movie that that came out in the 90s with Ice T. And Ice T had dreads, and he was a he was a ho homeless man, right? He was a bum. I forgot the name of the movie. If somebody knows it, just put it in the comment section. And he was a bum, right? So this white guy came up to him and offered him a lot of money just to be like a tour guide, right? So they get they they offer the dude um, um, ice tea some money. They wind up flying to no man's land, right? And ice tea is like talking, you know they you know they having conversations or, or whatever, having dinner, right? So the next morning they get him up. Next thing you know, they're hunting him. They're hunting him like as if he's a deer, and they're telling him to run out in the woods. And they 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 hunt human beings for for entertainment they kill him so i get out and this is he lived he lived in valentine at the time so it's like like damn near in in indian land right i get out there i'm scared as hell because i'm like yo man he gonna set me up but i got my gun i may be able to have a chance you know what i'm saying <laughs> but it, it, it was just funny yeah. but that's the thing man like so we got back good you know and now no woman can can get in between us you know what I'm saying? I've learned that throughout life that women are gonna be women. They're gonna fuck whoever they wanna fuck. They're gonna suck whoever they wanna suck. And you have no control over that. You understand? Like, I remember when I was young, I, I, I was like 20, 21. I, I was seeing this girl, we were living together, right? This boy told me, I think we messed up the relationship and that's another conversation. But you never, if you don't want to know how many women, oh, excuse me, how many men your women slept with, don't ask, right? I was the fool that asked. This boy said 50. At the time, I only had sex with like 15, 15 girl chicks, right? So I got upset. So that summer, I went on a, I ain't gonna lie, I went on a fucking spree. You know, I was trying to catch up the numbers that she, she had football uh, uh, numbers. You know, like the Washington Redskins versus Dallas Cowboys. The score is 50 and Cowboys got 16. So I, in order for to, for me to to to, to further the, the conversation, excuse me, the relationship, I felt as though okay, I have to catch up to her numbers, so therefore I feel comfortable with having a girl that slept with fifty men, right? So I'm I'm doing it, doing, doing my thing, doing my thing, doing my thing, right? And I kind of believe that she she probably knew because this one chick I had um I had got and I took her to my man's house. And I you know, did my thing with her. After we did it, she was like, yo, um, you seeing you seeing A? A R? I'ma call her A R. A R? I'm like, huh? She's like, yeah, because my one of my friends said they they that you seen her. I was like, nah, I don't know. Nah, I ain't seeing her. We just friends. So I think that A R wound up finding out and she just was we were just fucking over on each other and just didn't care, right? So I was clean with mine, you know what I mean? I always kept my joint, uh, my, my shorties outside. I never came, I never brought it, brought it to the house, right? So one night, my mom's, excuse me, it was Easter weekend, I never forget it. My mom's wanted me to go to church with her, right? So at that time, you know, I wasn't conscious and all of this, you know, not really really cool stuff. Anyway, I said, cool, cool, I, you know, I'll go to church with you. So I, I wound up spending the night over at her house. Right? So something told me, yo man, go back to the crib. Just something told me out of, the, out, of, out of the blue. Yo, go back to the crib. I go back to the crib. This board is laid out, fresh shower. It's a 40 ounce on it. This is the 90s, you know what I'm saying? So it's a 49 ounce beer on the table. Well, I already know what time it is when I see that. This dude, it's a, it's a dude laid out on the bed. 
And I'm like, yo, what's, what, what's up? She's like, yo, he's just a friend. He came over to visit me. I'm like, what are you talking about? You, oh, so y'all was about to do da 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 da. So I'm, I'm questioning him. He's like, nah, man, you know, I just don't want no parts of that. I'm just ready to go home or whatever. So me and her wind up getting into it. And I wind up leaving, right? So I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't want to fight him. He wasn't my beef. That you got, sometimes you got to respect and honor the game. If, if you, let me tell you something. If I was in that position that he was in, I would have did the same thing. All he was trying to do is get him some pussy. That's it. You gonna get mad at him and you wanna fight him and you wanna shoot him because of that? No, you need to be mad at her. All you need to be mad with yourself because you wifed up a slut, a whore. And it's just that plain and simple. You don't lose friendships over no, no pussy. And you don't lose, um, don't you lose your life over no pussy. I've heard that rapper Mobia got, got killed over a female. And let me tell you something, that, fa that same female if that was allegedly, if that happened, that same female, right now, I bet you she got a dick in her mouth. I bet you. You can't control no one's pussy. And let me tell you something. I ain't putting my, my, my business out there like that. But let me tell you something, man. If you truly think that you have had some of the best pussy, right? And you really feel as though that you, 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 you want to hurt somebody because your girl decided that she wanted to cheat. That man don't know you, right? Let me tell you something. I can guarantee you there's another female that got way more better pussy than your girl does. It's just not worth it. You all act like it's, like, like your girl is, is the only one that's walking around here and there's no other females. I can understand if, you, if, if it was just one female on this planet and you the one, you're the one that had her. I can understand you fighting and shooting and killing somebody and losing friendships over that. But there are, and, and take for example in Atlanta, it's 10 to 1. And you fight, over, and, and it'd be average, typical broads. You understand, like, come on, you, you fucking with some skank hoe and you wanna shoot and kill me? Cause I'm just trying to get me some? And I understand the game. I understand the game. It took me so it took me a while to understand it, but I understand it. Like just to, to give you another example, the mother of my children. I prefer that she doesn't have sex with, with other men. We're not in a relationship, so I, I can't I can't tell her what she can and can't do. It to me it smears my reputation. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the one that oh, that's always having sex with somebody else's baby mama. But to hear that somebody else got my baby mama legs up in the air, that's ah oh, oh that's ugly. That's ugly. But I'm telling you, you know, I got love for her, but she's not worth me losing my life or, or, or worth me losing my friendship that I have with, 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 with Pretty Ricky. I've known Pretty Ricky more longer than I've known the mother of my children. Period. You understand? So if I were to like get, get with another broad or whatever have you, it, I've known Pretty Ricky longer than I've known any female that I've dealt with. You understand? So it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. And for me to hear men that have lost their lives, for me to hear friendships that, you know, men were friends with one another 20, 30, 40 years and a broad got in the middle of it, it's just sickening to me. Especially a broad that ain't worth shit. I can understand if it was a broad that supports you, that backs you, that, that takes care of business and, and, and does and, and, and is a mother to your children and, 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 and makes her own money. She's an entrepreneur and she's an inspiration to, to you and others and she motivates you and others. I get that. I get that point. If your man, which is your friend for 20 years, tries to crack on her tries to talk to her and then she comes to you and say, yo, listen, you know, your, 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 your brother, the one that you call your brother, he, he, he's been trying to, he's been trying to fuck me. I can understand if you kill that, that friendship, but not with these average broads. It's just not, and then overall, whether she's a good woman or, or a bad, or, or a bad woman or a whore, she's not worth you losing your life for. It's just not, it's not worth it. You understand that? I can understand you losing your life 
that's your baby mama, that's your wife, and somebody is shooting and aiming in her direction and you jump in, in front of the bullet, you know what I'm saying? Because you love her that much. I get that part. But fighting and shooting and killing someone over a broad that was going to blow him off and he don't even know you is stupid. It's stupid. I'm telling you, specifically you young men, I'm telling you, some of you all have just now got some pussy and I understand it. It is, it is the most exhilarating thing that is on the planet. Like it's nothing like pussy, right? But I'm telling you, I can guarantee you that there's gonna be more, there's more good pussy to come. I'm telling you that. But if you pick up a gun and shoot somebody over abroad that you, you just, you got pussy whipped, you stupid. Stupid, I'm telling you, take it from me. Take it from me. And this is the reason why I'm chilling out in 2020 because I've had enough. I've had my fair share of dealing with women and I've gotten into a lot of trouble dealing with women. And it's just time for me to take a break. For real, sometimes you just have to really sit back and, 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 and take a break and focus on other things other than women. And men don't want to admit it. I'm going to admit it. Our life, all our lives are focused on women, straight up. I know some of you men are not gonna admit it, I'm gonna admit it. When we go buy clothes, we're thinking about how we're gonna impress a woman. When we go work out, we're thinking about how we're gonna impress a woman. When we purchase cars, and sport cars and shit like that, we think about how we're gonna impress a woman. When we, uh, 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 choose our careers and how much money we're gonna make. We're thinking about impressing the women. That's what, that is the main goal in life as far as dealing with men. How can I impress or get this female's attention? Most men won't admit that, but it's just the truth. I don't know what else there is. I just, I, I don't know. I, what, if you take women away, I would say, what, what's life's purpose again? I, I, Cause I don't know. But most men won't admit that. I'm here to admit it, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. You know, this is these are some jewels. You know, some gems that men need to hear. Yeah, pussy is good. It ain't nothing like a woman, especially a strong black woman. But I'm telling you, man, it's not worth your life. And it's not worth your friendship that you've, 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 like, you've known this man, you've known this guy. Or it may be a female, you've known this sister for years. And all of a sudden, this woman comes in, in your life and, and now your friendship is ruined. You know, or your family members. You know, man, I'll let, I'll let Pretty Ricky you know, speak it, speak his, tell his story or whatever. I'm not, I don't want to talk about it, you know, because I don't know if he wants his personal business out there, you know, so i rather for him to tell you, but he was willing to risk a lot of relationships that he had with people, including myself, um, for that, for that broad, that I'm going to tell you, you know, I know, I don't know, I've never met you, you know what I'm saying? I've heard of you. I've heard the things that you've done, you know what I'm saying? And Pretty Ricky will give you the benefit of the doubt, you know, and say, you know, overall, she's a good person. No, you're a piece of shit. That's what you are. You a whore, you a slut, and I don't want you, I don't want you in Charlotte. You don't deserve to live here. You deserve to go back to where you from, period. It's just that plain and simple, you know? And if I see you out in the street, I ain't gonna say nothing to you because I don't speak to hoes. I don't. That's my number one rule. I don't associate myself with hoes. But like I said, I'll let Pretty Ricky, you know, spill, you know, if he wants to, if he want to speak his mind on what, you know, situation or whatever have you, his personal situation, whatever have you, you know, his plat my platform is, is, is here for him. You understand? But that's, that's, that's my brother, you know, and, and that's one thing I don't play, you know, that's family. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate, I appreciate what that shit that went down. I just didn't. Without telling his business, I just did. Period. 
It's just that plain and simple. You a piece of shit. That plain and simple. Grimy ass bitch. You don't, you, you are, you are the one that, that, that messes it up for all other women. You. Giving women a bad name. In particular, black women, that is. But yeah, man, you know, I just had to get that out. I had to get that out, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty Ricky, I'm pretty sure you, you're looking at this, man. Much love. I'm glad you came to your senses. I'm glad you are who you are right now. I'm glad that you have a smile on your face. I'm glad that you're being successful. You are successful. I'm glad that you got your shit together. I'm glad that, 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 that you, you got your life back. And for that, the only thing that I would thank her for is for that, that you got your life back. She, she, she made you get your life back. She did it in an indirect and foul and fucked up way. However it went down, I'm glad that you're back. Period. Other than that, man, let me tell you something. Don't you ever lose your life or your friendship for some goddamn pussy. My name is Langston 2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, definitely share this video. I'm, I'm serious. Men need to hear this. Share this video. It's not about me. It's not about the likes. It's not about the comments, the, 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 the subscribers. It's, this is real right here. And I don't understand why there aren't other YouTubers talking about this specific topic. Please share this video. If you've never shared a video from me, that's fine. I do these skits with Sweet Baby Jesus and the shit is hilarious. People don't even share it. That's fine if you don't want to share, share that. But definitely share this video because it needs to be heard. People need to hear this, specifically men. Other than that, man, I'm out.